Good morning, Bombers, and welcome to today's edition of Blue Bomber News. I'm Mary Ellen. And I'm Cole. Today is Friday, September 27th, 2024, and a day three. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is the deadline to purchase homecoming t-shirts. Please get your money and form into your second block teacher. There will be a book club meeting on Wednesday, October 2nd in B136 during Enrichment B. Come to B136 for a pass. We will be discussing the upcoming bake sale and activities. If you are driving to school, you must have a parking permit and a park in your assigned spot. Students should not be parking on their junior high side. September is Suicide Prevention Month. This week, Avidum will be providing informational information and promoting positive messages. Remember, you are not alone. There is help available. You are worth it and you are enough. Please take this moment to watch this video. Mental health is something we all have. It includes our thoughts and feelings about ourselves and others. How we relate to other people. How we function day to day and how we cope with the ups and downs of life. Having good mental health is not about having no mental health problems. It's about feeling good enough about ourselves, being able to do the things that matter to us, and having the resilience to deal with the difficult situations we all experience in life. When talking about our mental health, it can be useful for us to think of it like a scale. Our mental health scale will move towards good or poor mental health, depending on what's going on in our lives and the supports we have around us. There are things that can challenge our mental health and shift the balance of our mental health scale. These challenges can come and go over time. They may be brief or may last for many years. They can leave us feeling stressed, sad, worried, lonely, overwhelmed. Mental health difficulties rarely just have one cause. They are often an understandable response to having to deal with the circumstances of our lives and things that have happened to us in the past. While there are things that challenge our mental health, there are also things that can support it too. These things won't necessarily prevent challenges to our mental health, but they can help us cope with what life throws at us. They can help us achieve balance in our mental health scale. Mental health can be complex because our experience of it is personal and unique. But we know that the more we normalize conversations about our mental health, the easier it will be for young people and adults to seek the support they need when they need it. Attention juniors and any underclassmen interested in learning more about National Honor Society, there will be a meeting after school on Wednesday, October 2nd in B219. Juniors that are planning to apply this fall should plan to attend. Any questions, please see Ms. J. Baumgart in B219. There will be a Students Against Destructive Decisions meeting in the gym today during Enrichment A. Current and new members are welcome to attend. We will be discussing event ideas for the year at the meeting. Homecoming dance tickets will be on sale beginning next week. Only Palmerton students and Palmerton alumni can attend the dance. The, the cost of a ticket is $10. If you're buying a ticket for yourself and another student, you must have the name of your guests ready. Contact Mr. Borland if you have any other questions about the dance or who can attend. Attention all students. The Environmental Club is now accepting applications for new members. Please see Mr. Gombert in room B140 or Mr. McArdle in B119 for an application. Anyone who, is, who was a member of the club last year does not need to reapply. Now, let's pass it over to Josh Merkel with this week's bombshell question. Good morning, Bombers. I'm Josh Merkel, and after two long years, we're back with the bombshell. Every single week, I'll give you a controversial question to see, hear your answers. You can vote either on the screen uh, shortly or in the cafeteria. You will have to vote by Thursday, and then I'll be back at the end of the week to tell you the answers. This week's question is, what is worse, sticky hands or wet feet? 
Make sh again, make sure you vote by Thursday, and I'll be back Friday. See you then. Hello, Palmerton student body. This message is from Mr. Ricardo, and this announcement pertains to what Mr. Gombert often refers to as the crown jewel of the campus, our beautiful courtyard. They want us to they want to remind you that when you are permitted in the courtyard, any ball-related games like playing catch with a football or bumping a volleyball are not permitted. The courtyard is just too tight for any area of an area for any of these types of activities. They have always said that the courtyard should be more like a college quad vibe rather than an elementary recess yard. So be sure to live up to those expectations when you are permitted out there. Thanks in advance for your cooperation and have a great 2024 to 2025 school year. Upcoming college visits, September 30th, Moravian College, October 2nd, Alverania University, and October 4th, King's College will be visiting Palmerton High School during lunch A. If anyone is interested in meeting with their representatives, please stop by the guidance office to sign up and get a pass. Anyone interested in wrestling, wrestling should attend should consider attending our open mats. They will be run on Mondays and Wednesdays from 2.30 to 2.40. Girls should try to come to our Monday practices if possible. Athletics this weekend. Boys varsity soccer, home versus Jim Thorpe. Girls varsity volleyball away at Notre Dame Green Pond. Bar boys varsity football away at Wilson. Your special lunch options for today are a hot and spicy chicken patty on a bun and a chicken mashed potato bowl with a dinner roll. Happy birthday to Cameron Pangeli and Gavin Smith. Happy celebrity birthday to Jenna Ortega and Avril Lavigne. Today in history in 1908, Henry Ford's first Ford T, T automobile leaves the plant in Detroit, Michigan. Thanks for watching and have a great day, bombers.